Hey, today we are celebrating the 200th episode on Genealogy TV with prizes and tips from the top 10 videos by popularity since the channel began in the summer of 2018. I'm giving away an Ancestry DNA kit, so stick around so that you can learn how you can enter to win. Also, information access level channel members are getting a handout with the links from the last 10 handouts all in one document. So if you're not a channel member, now is the time to join so that you can scoop up the last 10 handouts. All you need to do is be at the information access level channel member when we come back. Hey, links for all the videos will be in the show notes uh, below the video on the YouTube channel as well as at genealogytv.org. Starting with number 10, the 10th most popular video on uh, Genealogy TV and working our way to number one, here we go. Number 10 was DNA Cousin Matches Next Steps. Let's take a look. Well, before I really get into the results of the Y DNA test, let me quickly explain why I did a Y DNA test. This is me down here, and this is my father, my grandfather, and my great grandfather. And just as a reminder, if you're not familiar with Y DNA, a male hands down 100% of the Y DNA from father to son. So a male has the exact same Y DNA as his father, as his grandfather, as his great grandfather, and so on. In this scenario, a Y DNA test was perfect. My father's first cousin took the Y DNA test since my father had passed away, and he has the exact same Y DNA as my father, right? So by having that Y DNA, I could, you know, then determine some clues about who this mystery man is. Hey, clearly in that episode, we dig deeper into the DNA options, so make sure you check that out. Number nine is Beyond the Hints at Ancestry.com and FamilySearch.org. Is to pay attention to who originally shared the documentation because it's that person who went digging and found the information and uploaded it to either Ancestry or Family Search. And they are the ones who are actively researching that stuff. You can also note the date on which that was uploaded so you can get a sense, you know, how recent that person has been working on that line. Well, and that person may just be the one to ask for more information. All right, number eight was called the number one way to break down brick walls. Now, this was such a huge episode. I updated it in 2020 with more information from you, the viewers. All right, so this was this was a good one. Check it out. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at this. Remember, we're on image eight. You wanna always try and take a look at what image you're on so you can get back there easily. Now we're gonna come over to this little people icon. We're gonna open this up and it gives us the transcription of everything in this document. Now, normally what I like to do is I like to go back about five to 10 pages and forward uh, five to 10 pages to take a look at all of the people that probably are within walking distance or so. Now, remember, we're looking for Davis. Davis men who are in the neighborhood who are about the right age to have fathered a child. I go on to show you how to extract all the data and put it into a spreadsheet and filter it by surname. This is one you don't want to miss. All right, number seven. Ancestry.com, through lines explained. This is 2020's version. Let's take a look. Uh, the common ancestor, because both of us have taken the DNA test. Both of us uh, are showing a connection, genetic connection to each other in the DNA. And we both have Herman Miller in our tree because we've designated ourselves in our tree. Carol designated herself in her tree. And we both have Herman Miller Madsen in our trees. So it's saying, aha, this must be a through line. This must be the line that connects from Connie to Carol. Remember, through lines is only as good as the member trees it is built from. All right, moving on to number six was Ancestry.com's new hint features. This was from 2019. In this clip, you'll learn why I ignore other member trees and where to find extra hidden hints. And I've ignored these hints. And again, just as a practice, I typically ignore other member trees first. And I will go back later after I've gone through all of the records and documentation to review those other family trees, other ancestor trees, to see if I've missed anything, right? 
and I've accepted a bunch. So I'm gonna go back to these two new. One of the things that I've discovered that I think is kind of cool, if you scroll all the way down and you look right here, didn't find what you're looking for? Discover more about Wilhelmina Co uh, Lee Koss, or you can view these hints for others in your tree. You'll need to see that one to see how it turns out. It's pretty cool. All right, number five is trace your family tree for free online. It's a five-step process. This video was produced in 2020. Did you know there is such a thing as a free guest account at Ancestry? Check it out. Now, Ancestry has a free trial versus a guest account. Let's talk about that for a moment. A free trial will expire and you need to give them a credit card to secure that free trial. And then once the free trial is over, your credit card will be charged unless you cancel it. Now a guest account, you can use and build a free tree with a guest account without paying for it. All right, check out the video to learn more about free guest account. All right, moving on to number four is familysearch.org, five tips for free genealogy research. This one again was from 2020, and in this tip, you'll learn a little bit more about my number one first place to go for a, any resource. Okay, so the number three thing that I will do as part of my process for using family search is again, I still have that one person I'm looking for, but I will also go and search here from the home page. I will go and search the Family Search Wiki. Oh my gosh, if you're not familiar with the Family Search Wiki, you should be. All right, number three is Ancestry's DNA shared matches. In the next 40 seconds, you're gonna learn the real power of the shared matches tool. The real gold here is clicking on the shared matches tool. So now I know that Carol is in the Madsen line because Herman and Francis Madsen are our common ancestors. So I'm going to mark Carol as being a Madsen uh, descendant, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, all right, I want to look at all of the cousins that Carol and I have in common because all of those DNA cousins are going to be Madsen descendants. Once you understand the shared matches tool, you can use this skill over and over again. All right, number two was the inside scoop at Family Search. In this clip, it's well, it's just showing you the beginning of Family Search's very colorful fan chart and how you can uh, see your family tree in a very easy and navigable way. And there are new fan chart views. So here you can change how many generations you see for your family. So here you can see four up to seven generations on your fan chart. And if you want to change the person and that's in the center of the fan chart, you just hover over somebody and there's a little fan chart icon. So you click on that and it'll place them in the center of the fan chart and you can view that, all that information for them. Okay, coming up is the number one most popular video on Genealogy TV today. But first, let me remind you that there is a newsletter, a Facebook page, and a website. Links for all of that are in the show notes below. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so that you don't miss any of these videos. And don't forget that you can support Genealogy TV by becoming a channel member. There are two levels. There is the support level, which gets you early release to all the videos. And there is the information access level, which gets you all the handouts to the videos when they are produced. All right, all you have to do is click join down below the video to learn a little bit more. All right. The number one video on Genealogy TV in 200 episodes was called Hidden Tools on Ancestry.com. In this tip from that episode, I'm gonna show you how you can search your ancestors in private trees on Ancestry. Check it out. What you do is you go up to search and you go to public trees. So these are member trees, okay? But we're gonna drill into this area and get to the private trees. And from here, you could normally search for any public tree uh, by searching uh, ancestors' names, but you can also search private trees. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is click over here on the right-hand side where it says private member trees. Now it does say this database contains family trees submitted by Ancestry users and have indicated that their tree can only be viewed by Ancestry members to whom are granted permission to see their tree. We're gonna jump over there. So here we are. Now you can search for your ancestors over here uh, in this search box and you could get a result if somebody has a private tree with that ancestor in it. Okay, so there's the top 10 videos by popularity 
in the first 199 episodes. I hope you are getting some value out of them. Channel members and patrons, thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. If you want to join the channel membership, all you have to do is hit that join button and you can learn a little bit more about it. All right, information access level uh, members, make sure that you check out the community tab to get the handout for this episode that has all of the last 10 handouts in it. All right, now here comes the contest. I said I would give away a DNA kit and here's how we're gonna do this. I will announce the winner next Friday in a public post on the YouTube channel. So make sure you are subscribed and ring the bell so that you get that notification. Note that this is not sponsored by Ancestry. They have nothing to do with this. This is my contest, okay? All right, here are the rules. You need to be 18 to enter and you need to supply a valid email address so that I can notify you if you won. Now, winners will be drawn at random. The odds of winning depend on how many entries we have. And well, there's only one entry per person. A link to more rules about the contest are in the show notes below. And well, to sign up, there is a link there as well. Click on that link. You're gonna go to a form, you'll fill it out and you'll be entered to win. So there you have it. Hey, I'm Connie Knox. I hope you had a great time with this video. I had a good time putting together the first 200. I can't wait to get started on the next 200. So don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so that you get notified each time I upload a video and consider supporting Genealogy TV. Thanks so much for watching.